Wood's choice completes the text with the most logical transition. Neuroscientist Karen Conkley wanted to determine whether individuals can understand and respond to questions during REM sleep. She first taught volunteers eye movements that they would use to respond to basic math problems while sleeping. A single left-right eye movement indicated the number one. Blink, she attached electrodes to the volunteers' faces to record their eye movements during their sleep. So options A says specifically, this is incorrect because specifically would imply that this third sentence would elaborate on information in the second sentence, but this is not the case, where the third sentence describes how she attached electrodes to the volunteers' faces, while the second sentence talks about how she taught the volunteers eye moods that they would use to respond to basic math problems. So these two sentences... So the third sentence doesn't elaborate on information in the second sentence, so specifically would it make sense here? So A is incorrect. B, next. This seems to be the correct answer, because next would imply that this is the next step in a process which she uses to describe her method to determining whether individuals can understand and respond to questions during REM sleep. So she first uh, taught volunteers eye movements, and the third s sentence describes how she then put electrodes on their electrodes on their faces. So next would make sense here. So B seems to be the correct answer. C. For instance, this is incorrect because for instance would imply that this third sentence describes an example that is related to the second sentence. But this is clearly not the case. So this is C is incorrect. D. In sum, this is incorrect because in sum would mean that this third sentence concludes what was said during this whole passage. But this is clearly not the case where the third sentence does not conclude anything. It still merely describes the next step in this process. So D is incorrect, and the correct answer is B.